Alright, I'm gonna install, and I'm gonna start Ubuntu 11.04 on my Dell Studio 1555 laptop. It's about a year old. It is a Core 2, has a Core 2 Duo at 2.2 gigahertz with two cores, uh, four gigs of RAM, and it's running Ubuntu 64-bit. So we're gonna start this up. And I dual boot with Windows, so we have to go through the Windows bootloader first. So, here we are, we're going to boot Ubuntu here. And that's the login screen already. Oops. Man, this is the Lubuntu desktop. I mean, it already loaded. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, they say that this is designed for older computers. But this is a one-year-old computer. And it was pretty good... For and uh, excellent, but it was pretty good for um, when it was made in like late 2009. And um, what I've noticed is when I ran it on this system, it used 103 megs of RAM out of 256. But for some reason, it's using 238 megs of RAM out of 4 gigs. Um, I've noticed this on the 64-bit editions of Linux on my laptop. And, I mean, it could be that I'm not using a swap partition, because Windows already has three, and I don't want to mess around with extended partitions. But, I've just noticed that Linux uses, um, sorry, uh, Ubuntu uses a lot more RAM, and I mean, Fedora and Debian use a lot more RAM than my desktops, which are both 10 years old. Um, anyways, so this is, and just to show you as a comparison, I'm going to show you, uh, Wikipedia loading on my laptop here with Ubuntu's article. Just loads right there. It's impressively quick. I'm amazed at how fast this operating system is. I mean, yeah, this is a relatively new computer, but even, like, regular Ubuntu or... Fedora or Debian, none of them ran this fast. I'm very, I mean, they ran pretty well, but this is, and I'm pretty well, they ran very well, but I mean, still, this is impressively fast. It's ridiculous. Like, you know, we'll just with the slow skis for Comcast. This is a little too fast for me. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm used to waiting. Anyways, this is uh, Ubuntu on my laptop.